page 55, Surprise Symphony. This is a very famous melody by Haydn. Symphony, I would encourage you to go listen to it. This is from the first movement. And it's got its name because it's been playing along kind of gently, and then right in the middle of all that gently, there's a real loud chord, which is, surprises everybody. It's called the Surprise Symphony. So let's look at this. It's two lines long. The right hand and left hand are playing one at, they're not playing at the same time, it's one or the other. It's 4-4 four, four time. You're in middle C position and you're here to start with this. You got quarter notes and a half notes. So you get, get all that worked out. Then the dynamics. Well now they're adding some more in dynamics. Starting out medium loud, moderately loud, mezzo forte. And then over on the half note, they're in parentheses, there's a forte. And then at the end of the line, in parentheses, there's a moderately loud again. The idea of the parentheses is they're just kind of telling you what it should be. In other words, that doesn't need to be there. It could be like the second line where there's nothing, where you, all you get is a moderately loud at the beginning and that's it. Well, the idea with these arrows, these side arrows, is the crescendo or decrescendo. A crescendo means to get gradually get louder, and the decrescendo or diminuendo, same difference, gradually gets softer. So the arrows, depending on which arrow it is, you're going to gradually get louder or gradually get softer. And I remember which arrow is which because it can get confusing. Which arrow is this? Is as you're reading the music from left to right, you, your left to right, whatever, we're backwards to each other. This is my left and my right. You go the other way. But if the, as you're reading the music and the arrow starts at a point and the lines gradually get further apart as you're reading the music, you get louder. As the lines get further apart, you get louder. If the lines start apart, as, and they gradually come together as you're reading the music you get softer and that's how I remember which is which. So here at the beginning here, you're going to get gradually get louder but you have to be careful here to plan this out because you're starting here whatever whatever loudness this is for you and you want to end up when I get these two arrows facing like the, the here I look in the middle of it to see the note or notes there because that's my target. So that's where I'm after. That's the loudest part. So that half note where the F is, that's the loud. How loud is that? So I'm going to go from here to here. And I'm going to take all these notes slowly. And I would suggest you, in this case you do it two notes at a time. So play the first two notes the same. Next two notes a little louder. Next two notes a little louder. Now, don't get loud before the half note. And same thing going down. These notes are loud. A little softer. A little softer. Back down to medium loud. You have to experiment and practice that so you get. And it's hard to tell in my videos because the electronics I'm using wants to even out the volume. And I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. So I have to exaggerate the volume to get it to change because I can make this change a little bit. But when it comes out in the video, it comes out all about the same. And that's unfortunate. Sounds much better here. than uh, uh, but. You experiment with it on, and you'll get better over time as you get more experience at this. Just know what it means. You gradually get louder, and then you're going to gradually get softer, and both lines are the same. That's really about all. The moderately, it's, it's about what I've been doing. It's sort of in the middle. Not fast or slow, just whatever. Now, when we do the play with me's, I don't do the dynamics. All I'm interested is in the notes and the rhythms. You do the dynamics on your own because it's a personal thing. You'll have to decide what louds and moderately louds and all that is. And we go slow. You can speed it up on your own later on. So right now, let's do a play with me and make sure you have the right notes and the right rhythms. No hesitations. And hopefully you can do it without looking at the keyboard. You, you, you can do it by feel. Hmm? 
So I'll give us four counts. So go ahead and put your hands in middle C position. And here we go. One, two, ready, go.